Hi folks, HR Funk here, or at least HR Funk's hands, with what up until a few days ago was the item that I associated with the name K-Bar. Like all Marines, I associated that name with the famous fighting knife issued to U.S. Marines during World War II that was manufactured by that company. But some of you may recall, a couple of weeks ago, I put out a request for a gun tool that I could use specifically for things like sight adjustment that was going to be compact, lightweight, and something that would work with a lot of different firearms. And someone suggested another item by K-Bar. This is the K-Bar gun tool. And in this quick video review, we're gonna take a look at this tool and I'm gonna tell you what I've learned about it so far. Now I do have to make an apology here at the beginning of the video. The video that I posted a couple of weeks ago requesting suggestions for tools just like this had all the comments eliminated. So I don't have the name of the viewer that suggested this particular tool and I wish I did so I could give him a shout out and say thank you because most of the suggestions I got were either a multi-tool of one sort or another or a screwdriver with a hollow handle that would hold extra bits or what have you. And those were good suggestions, but I was looking for more of an all-in-one tool that was a little bit more compact, a little bit more lightweight, and I really didn't need all the functionality of a multi-tool. So as I show you this, you'll see it's a little bit more mission specific to exactly what I was looking for. But again, I apologize to the person that suggested this tool. I wish I could say thank you, but I just don't have the name anymore. So here is the K-Bar gun tool unfolded, and you can see it follows the basic format of a typical hex head wrench set. In fact, I've got one of those right here. And the K-Bar tool, as you see, is very similar, at least in the way that it's constructed. But instead of having just hex head wrenches, which it does have, it has one, two, three, four, five different hex head wrenches, but it also has three different size star bits. It has a solid pin punch and it has a ratchet. Actually, it's not a ratchet, but it's a socket that works with four different screwdriver bits that are down inside two Phillips and two flatheads. And what I'm going to do here momentarily is look at some of the handguns that I've had recently out at the range when I needed to make some sight adjustments and didn't have a tool that would fit, which was typically my Swiss Army knife, and see if I now have a bit or a screwdriver that will fit the various sights and optics and what have you on those handguns with this tool. And I've not done this yet, so I'm going to be learning as I go to see if this tool is going to do exactly what I need it to do. So first up is my Smith & Wesson Carry Comp Revolver, and I'm going to be checking to see if one of the flathead bits will fit the rear sight. And it looks like the larger one of the two is too big. So fortunately there is a smaller one. And by the way, I've discovered that these are a little tricky to get out of the recess where they're held. These are magnetically held in place and it's a little bit of a challenge to get a hold of them and get them out of there. I'll see if I can get this one. And after having removed that from its recess, we'll check this bit. Now this is a smaller bit. And it fits in the slot. Obviously it's a little more narrow than I would like it to be, but I think if I'm making a quick sight adjustment at the range, it should work fine and it fits into the socket there. And yes, no problem with the windage screw or the elevation screw. So it works fine with the Smith & Wesson revolvers. Now let's try something else. And next up is my IWI Masada, which also requires a small screwdriver to adjust the sight on my Hilux TD3C sight. And that one fits very well into there. So no problem whatsoever making sight adjustments on the TD3C. Now we'll move on to the next handgun. Next, I'll try the K-Bar tool on the handgun that actually launched my search. This is my Colt Competition Series 1911 and when I had this out at the range not long ago for the video where I was working with it, 
I was not able to adjust the elevation because my Swiss Army knife did not fit into the slot of the rear sight elevation screw. And I want to check this now and yes, that is now doable with the K-Bar tool. So I've taken care of that problem also with this new tool that was suggested, as I said, by a viewer who I really wish I could thank. The K-Bar gun tool is available on Amazon for about $20, and rather than bore you while I check it on all kinds of different firearms with all sorts of different screws, I'll simply say that if I run into a problem with it, I'll let you know about that in a future video. And if I do run into a problem with it, it is covered by a lifetime warranty from K-Bar, and if there's a problem with the material or workmanship of this tool, K-Bar will repair or replace it free of charge. And that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, as always, make sure you forward those to me. Remember, if you purchase anything from Optics Planet, be sure to use my discount code, which is... And if you use that discount code, it's good for 5% off anything you purchase from Optics Planet. Also remember, WarbirdBunker.com is making t-shirts for the channel. If you go to WarbirdBunker.com, you can find my t-shirt there, as well as all of Nathan's other firearms and patriotic-themed gear. And if you use my discount code at WarbirdBunker.com, which is hrfunk for you, that'll save you 10% off your purchase from WarbirdBunker.com. And lastly, don't forget, House of Pain Munitions is offering a discount code now to my viewers. If you go to House of Pain and make a purchase and use the discount code hrfunk10, that'll save you 10% off your purchase from House of Pain. See you next time, folks. And until then, good shooting. Bye-bye.